Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, uh, we have a new topic today, but before we move, somebody make a comment saying that the video says 46% of the population of Reda students, not 46% of the population of the city of Reda. You know, some people they are really smart. You know, I noticed that from time to time, especially in the West. Uh, first, I am the one who made the translation of this, uh, not you. So what do you see in here? Actually, it's not everything the video is saying in Arabic. I'm trying to make it short to make it easy for me as a translation. Like, you know, if you listen, you will see they are talking about violence against kids, etc. I did not translate that. I translated what is important. Number two, when I say 46% of the capital, actually, this is a wrong number. I'm going to fix it and correct it. Because 46% of the students is more than 50% of the population. How? In Saudi Arabia, simply, uh, people who they are under the age of 20, they are more than 60 to 65, sometimes 70 per percent in some countries. You know, Islamic countries, all of it, the, uh, the young is the majority because each Muslim, he produce tons of kids. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't give birth. The Muslims, they don't give birth. They lay eggs. Osama bin Laden, he has 60 brothers, 60 male brother. God knows how many females. So imagine one male, one adult, and he has 60 puppies behind him. So you will see in here that 60 brother of Osama bin Laden, who they are, they used to be kids one day, and there is one adult. So the percentage of young, according to this, it's 60 to 1. But we will say, the case is not like this anymore. You know, not all Saudi, they can produce uh, 60 kids anymore. They produce 50. Uh, you know what? 40. You know what? 20. You know what? 10. Just to make you happy. Still, this is very scary number. So, the population of a student which is you know, producing to, to us the percentage of the young people in Saudi Arabia is a lot more than the 50% of the population. This is number one. So, the percentage is more than 50% of the capital of Saudi Arabia, for sure they are gays. Number two, let us say you are a student today, or yes, last year you was a student, next year you are not. But you was a gay when you was a student. Does that mean you are not a gay when you are out of the school? So, we should add the former generations of you of people who used to be students and they are still gays and they are still in the society and they start counted as part of the of the population number so we will see that the number will go up to 80% maybe or maybe even more because those who graduated from school as gays and they are no 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 student no more they still gays they did not die so the number in here actually i will fix it and but I don't want to give a number it might be false but for sure it's more than 50 to 60 to 70 percent because those who graduated from school and they were gay they're still gay like what are you going to tell me he was a gay in the school and when he left the school the school gave him a certificate that he he got a, his high school diploma and his butt is a clean no more gay the gay is a gay he grow up as a gay he will die as a gay so the coming 50 years of his life, he's going to stay as a gay. So you have to count him as part of a population. Now let us move to different topic. This is Al Arabiya TV. Uh, you will see in here something you don't understand anyway, but I'm going to translate to you. Actually, I'm not going to translate. I will take it to Google Translation and we will see. But you will see in the picture, a women, they are wearing uh, a veil, okay? Uh, and by the way, those are not real women, you know, it's not allowed to take pictures, you know, for Saudi women. Uh, those are dummies, dolls, whatever you call them. Uh, so in here, the, 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 the fatwa in here today, or the, the new news today, that the Islamic scholars in Saudi Arabia they are saying the following Muslim women she should not wear this kind of veil it's against Islam why some of you they might get excited say oh wow they want to take it off 
freedom people in Saudi Arabia saying this is not not right this is not according to Islam just wait hold your break the guy in there saying the Sheikh his name is Muhammad al Habdan he is warning people from letting women to go alone in the street this is forbidden in Islam and uh, to wear a makeup and to wear etc but the, the what he is saying that the Muslim women she should not wear this kind of veil this is not Islamic this is against Islam what he want watch this this is Google translation he is asking the government asking Muslims to enforce women to wear a, a veil with one eye one eye two eyes is haram it's not allowed in Islam and he's saying that the women she should wear a veil with one eye because the whole idea of you know having that hole for the eye is just to see so why she need to see with two eyes what about make it one he's right because maybe with two eyes we'll see two men with one eye she will see only one you know if I say it's, you know this to someone he might say come on you are making things up you are making stories this is not true this is false this is this is crazy you know let me tell you this is Islam those people they are the most crazy stupid nation ever you can see in your life they want the women to be inside the box it is you know in the same time women in Islam is a sex toy in the same time in Islam women have no respect like when you see oh you know they are so they are they are guarding their women this is not true go to his house legally and say I want to pay you one hundred thousand dollar give me your daughter he will give it to you legally they sell their daughters they sell their women for sex for money in the same time they cover her which means you know what Islam is a prostitution company but you have to do things in our way you want to get this woman to be naked in front of you you want to have sex with her you come to our house you pay the money you take the honey and when you are done you return her to us by saying one word you are divorced and if you don't like to get married even in the normal way we can rent you the women as a temporary marriage which mean you come to us to the father and you sign a contract with me saying I'm going to rent your daughter for five nights and I will pay you ten thousand dollars when the five nights is over your contract is over the girl go back home and you are done with her enjoying her body this is why Islam is covering the women because they don't see in the women more than a private part the Prophet of Islam he said the women she have ten a private part ten including her voice and when she get married she cover one you know which one I'm not going to say so when she marry only she cover one which is the one between her legs cover one which means if she did a shame nobody will know because she is married like if she she get a bread net nobody will know that this is not from her husband so this is the, the way of coverage by the way it's not really covering one so her vagina is the one Muhammad he consider when she get married she will be covered but the other nine is what her face her hands her eyes her voice her hair everything so the women in Islam is a walking talking vagina this is what Muhammad he brought to this world and this is what Muhammad he made the 50% of the humanity look like at the same time you will see some Muslims uh, uh, spreading their propaganda saying Islam respect women you know Islam respect women but the Quran allowed you to beat her you know do you know that Islam allowed the women to inherit but they will not tell you that the women she don't inherit equally to her brother in every society in the world the women inherit what a big deal even for the Hindus in Islam the male he inherited twice more than the female they will tell you do you know that in Islam the women she can keep all her own property but do you know in Islam that's you know your husband he can beat the hell of you until you make you give him your his property because divorcing is in his hand in the same time he have the upper hand to beat you he can torture you 
how she can keep something if she have no control of anything if she cannot even control it she cannot drive a car she own let us say the Muslim woman she own a car can she drive it no <laughs> anyway guys follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord Islam is sick they want to wear the women to wear the the women to wear one eye veil what a shame what a stupid religion see ya